This has been my first drive with mates since the lockdown expired. We've been staying with the rules. There's only six of us in the convoy. We've kept our distances. It's been great to get out. I have to admit, two things I've noticed with my car, definitely need that sports exhaust. It cannot come soon enough. So basically, sole performance. John, if you're watching, please make my exhaust as soon as you can. I know I'm stuck in your back order queue. I really do need a sports exhaust being stuck behind. A base 981 came with PSE, a 981 GT4 and a 981 GTS all with PSC. I'm the only one that doesn't have a sports exhaust. So it makes a big difference, believe me and yeah look the sun's out it's a glorious day it's been on and off we've been lucky with the weather stay safe enjoying life and cars to the max Is that, he's laughing, don't put me off. Enjoy life and cars to the max. I'm only making this video to prove a point. If you can see, there's my Cayman, there's a GTS 981 and another 981, and there's a beautiful Lotus there. There's no GT4. Why is that? It's because the clearance is so poor on a GT4. And there, there he is there, there he is himself. What, you, oh, anyone, any, he wants me to go, uh, you want us to, so he's, Eddie's had to park in the, um, the special part where there was no, where there was extra ground the clearance. Four by four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It's great to get out in the sun. Oh, look at that. There you go. There you go. There's his car. There's his car. So, so listen, if you're going to buy a GT4, always keep in mind with that splitter down there, okay, you're going to you're gonna have a few issues. Three months in lockdown, haven't done a road trip. This is the first road trip in ages. I'm just loving it. Look at the views over there. And you know, I didn't even bring my cameras with me today. It's all on my phone. I was supposed to just have a blast and basically take a sort of day off from filming YouTube videos. I'm having a blast, guys, enjoying life in cars to the max, for sure. So we're with a bunch of Cayman today in the Lotus up front. I have to say, the Cayman GTS is possibly going to become my number one Cayman, above a GT4. And I think that's because the practicality of that car, the parking, access roads, where the GT4's front splitter just keeps hitting. The GTS, it's got the sports exhaust, it's got all the options you want. Uh, we noticed actually when we parked up the cars, the video, the photo will be up here shortly. The ride height on my Cayman is so high compared to the other cars here. Even the 981 base Cayman that we've got here, it's got lower ride height. It is the black edition so I think it's got PASM as well. Um, it's just great. You know what? It was pouring down with rain when we left. The sun has opened up and if anything, it goes to show, you know, have an optimistic outlook. I know the weather was going to say 60, 70% chance of rain all day. It's sunny right now. Enjoying life cars to the max. They made me park here. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Luckily, the guy organizing this trip, he's brought us down to this amazing place. I mean, just look at these cars behind you. Uh, this, this, is a, this is the surprise that he was telling us about. We didn't know what the surprise was. I'm gonna go check this place out. Forget Eddie's GT4, look at this, look at this. These, these are the real Porsches. These are the real Porsches, like the ones that are the right size. <laughs> Let's go check this place out. It's actually called the Classic Motor Hub in, um, it's Bibbery. Let's go check this out. Awesome place. This is amazing. <laughs> there, there's Matt. Matt's featured on the channel before. And Matt was like, I bet you're going to make a video today. No, I wasn't planning on making a video. I was, I was planning on having a day off today. So I know pretty much Max Revs is a Cayman channel, but all cars are welcome here. And I'm looking at this car. This is a Ferrari 512. I don't know a lot about Ferraris. It's an amazing looking car. Someone said this might have even been a late 60s car or an early 70s car, but it's absolutely amazing. Have a look at the rear of this car because I've never seen a Ferrari with these kind of like ducting vents at the back. Good cars end up 99 octane fuel. There we go. 